We're working for Hawaii. The KHON2 News at 10 starts now. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. When new pickleball courts with lights were announced last year, players were hopeful they'd be able to enjoy the game during the day and well into the night. But that hasn't been the case. Alina Lee tells us why. Ke'ehi Lagoon is a favorite spot among pickleball players because of the court's size and location. There's just one problem. A lot of people will come here uh, after work and it's, 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 a, it's a central location so, to so many people. They'll come out here and play. Uh, the issue is when the sun goes down, the lights doesn't work. By seven, the, the, the sun goes down. It's the only time we can play till. Ever since they built this place, there was no light at all. Over a year, I believe, they haven't done anything. According to the Department of Parks and Recreation, the lights stopped working when the copper wiring was stolen. It's pitch black. You don't see anything here. With the lights on, it's to prevent any of the riffraffs come over. But, you know, having the lights off, it's, it, it's a safety issue. When it's busy, players tell me multiple groups of pickleballers will line up for a court. But by the time it's their turn to play, there's not enough sunlight left. One time where I, I was here to five, the court opened up at 6.30. 6.30 is sunset, so I had about 10 minutes of playing time. Yeah, hey, yeah, uh, this is the line for the pickleball. Play with 12 courts, which is really, really amazing. And even with that, it's still not enough courts because there's so many people wanting to play. Players like Fao Muina decided to start a petition to get the lights back on the courts. You know how it is sometimes when you'll ask for some things and it's just kind of been put on the wayside and maybe perhaps starting a petition together. We can get things moving. Hopefully it gets, it gets fixed. And yeah, everyone would definitely appreciate it for sure. The city says it is working with the Oahu Pickleball Association to fix the lights, but they don't have a timeline for when work will be done. What are lights? <laughs> what are lights? Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Meanwhile, the lights are back on tonight in the Ala Moana neighborhood after residents reached out to KHON2. The city says they fixed the street lights on Rycroft and Ahana streets tonight after we aired our report about the lights being out last night. According to the city, it learned about the outage on September the 12th through a software system that monitors street lights. Area residents told KHON2 they were worried about their safety and possible crime. No word yet on exactly what caused that outage.